A Detroit liquor store owner doesn't want people parking in his lot and then going to a long lunch nearby. So he hires a tow company that's doing a good job. Maybe too good of a job. Problem solver Rob Wolchek says the tow company is using tactics tow victims are calling predatory. Rob. It appears the tow company has turned this contract into a cash grab. We saw their trucks parked just out of sight of the parking lot day after day. And the company denies they're using spotters to call in anyone who dares step out of the lot. Take a look and see what you think. Breakthrough Towing doesn't use spotters. Yep, according to their attorney, Breakthrough Towing wouldn't think of hiring someone to lurk around this parking lot day after day after day, watching in case you park your car in the liquor store lot, then cross the street for a takeout deal. Breakthrough doesn't use spotters. So you don't have to worry about this guy calling a tow truck on you, a tow truck that arrives so fast, you come running out of the restaurant, carry out bag in hand. For them to come so quick and have my car already hooked up when I got outside, they must have been waiting somewhere close. I begged, I yelled, I asked him, could he please let my car go? He didn't care, he took it anyway. And certainly the fee will be reasonable. When you found out it was $395, what did you think? I mean, I was devastated. And even though this scenario played out every day we were watching this lot, everybody involved from the liquor store manager, I don't know nothing about spotter here, who says he makes the calls to the towing company, to the towing company owner. Hey, Mike. Mike, hey, Mike, Mike! To the guy who's not a spotter himself are sticking to the same story. Are you, are you out here spotting? No, for who? For the tow company. I don't know what you're talking about. Breakthrough doesn't use spotters. Working as a spotter. It's a typical day here off Woodward Avenue in Detroit. Blending in amongst the crowd of busy people is this guy. His name is Christopher. Chris spends all day sitting in his black Lexus with heavily tinted windows. The only time he gets out is when he nonchalantly walks through the Midtown Liquor Store parking lot. It appears he discreetly takes a photo of this white Lincoln's license plate. Quickly, he crosses the street and can be seen texting. Exactly six minutes later, the white Lincoln is hooked by breakthrough towing. The tower works fast. It is gone by the time the owner of the white Lincoln comes out of the restaurant across the street and sees his car is gone. The Lincoln owner looks free. While he panics and calls to figure out where his car is, Chris, not a spotter, is sitting right next to him. And when Chris is in trolling, a lady in a green Chevy with tinted windows is conveniently parked all day. And whenever she's around, people seem to get towed and towed and towed. I wonder where Chris is on the days the lady in the green car is watching the lot. You're gonna find out in a few minutes. There's the lady in the green car. There's a nice red Mustang in the lot. The driver ran across the street to grab takeout from the restaurant. Here comes Red Mustang Man, who I contacted a couple of days after we caught this on tape. His name is Tyrese. I'll let him pick it up from here. Well, I ran outside to see if I can get him to stop. I asked the guy, well, can you take it down? I'll give you some money to take it off. He said no. Tyrese ended up getting a ride with the tow driver, with his car being what he called held hostage on the back of the truck to the tow office in southwest Detroit. Next, it's a black Honda. At so that point, my car wasn't even hooked all the way. Yeah. And then I was visible at that point, so they know, knew that the car belonged to me. That's Nicole. We've got video of her car being towed as well. That's her in the Red Wings shirt. Did you say I'll pay for it or anything like that? I, I actually did. He said he did not care. He still needs to take the car. She didn't get hit with the charge till she got to the tow office. $395 that I had to pay right there on the spot in cash. She didn't have that kind of money on her, so she had to wait for a friend to rescue her. Then waited until another tow truck came to lead them to the breakthrough storage lot miles away. The lot was horrible. She says this lot is filled with so much junk, her car had a flat tire when she finally got it back. Somebody's making a whole lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Alexa says it's a racket. She got towed, lost $395, and a whole day at work. It was cash only. They said it had to be cash only. LaToya stopped off on the way to an evening work party. I'm going to park, I'm going to run in, I'm going to grab my food, and then I'm going to run to the liquor store, I'm going to grab a bottle of wine, then I'm going to go to the evening event, and then I'm going to go home. But while picking up her food... And I see my car halfway up on a platform. Um, of a tow truck, and I am so shocked. I'm like, she too pleaded with the tow driver. If I give you money, um, will you take my car down? He's like, no, I can't take your car down. 
And that's exactly why, among other things, lawyers Kathy Garbosh and her partner Tony Paris are suing. They say Breakthrough Towing did the same thing to one of their clients. The Breakthrough Towing LLC tow truck driver told plaintiff they had to tow the vehicle despite plaintiff being present and demanding a return of her vehicle in clear violation of Michigan law. In Michigan, if you come out and they're in the process of towing your car and they haven't taken it off the premises yet, they're required to give you back your vehicle. The lawsuit also claims Breakthrough is charging outrageous fees and making customers pay in cash only. Cash is, uh, is, is harder to track and I'm sure Breakthrough knows that. And they have so many victims, they're trying to make it a class action lawsuit. It's a minimum of unfair, predatory and rogue, but it's our position that it's absolutely illegal. The breakthrough attorney told me it's not like this is extortion, his words. Take a look at this video. Guy gets towed. He can't get his pickup back until he comes back with $395 cash. So the tow truck driver takes him to an ATM machine. There's the poor schlub counting the cash. There's the tow truck driver lurking in the background with the guy's vehicle on the truck. And some of these tow truck drivers are carrying guns. Heck, even a Grubhub delivery guy isn't safe. This guy's picking up an order to make a few bucks, but instead can't dish out his delivery and will have to dish out 395 bucks in cash for the tow. That's a guaranteed one-star rating. They won't answer the door for me at the office. Mike, hey, Mike! And the boss, a guy named Mike Dickerson, runs away whenever I try to talk to him. So I decide to talk to Chris, who's not a spotter. Hey, hang on. Aren't you working sorry, as a spotter for board. the tow company? No, I'm sorry. You don't work for Breakthrough Towing? I don't know what you're You're not a spotter? About. Now I head into the liquor store. Hey, who's the, who's the manager? I am. You are. Hi, I'm Rob from Foxy. Can you step out here? His name's Louie. So we just talked to the spotter guy that okay. does the spotting for the towing. Christopher, do you know him? I don't know nothing about spotter. Spotters from Breakthrough Towing. You guys you contract had, with them, spotter. right? Yep. Louie says he doesn't want people parking in his lot, which I understand. But even he agrees the punishment doesn't seem to fit the crime. What do you think about people having to pay $400? Don't you think that's kind of steep? I mean, they shouldn't pay that much. I want to talk to the lady in the green Chevy who often parks wherever she wants. Funny, she left her car in the liquor store lot and didn't even get towed. She even got a ticket one day from a Detroit City traffic enforcer. What's her story? She ain't coming out. Hey, can you open the window and talk to me? The next day, guess who is out? Not spotting. Remember, Breakthrough doesn't use spotters. Well, fancy meeting you here, Chris. Chris says he's just buying lottery tickets, even though we've seen him watching the parking lot for a half hour. Come on, Chris, who are you trying to fool? Not you. Chris is still sticking with what he said the first time. Remember? You don't work for Breakthrough Towing? I don't know what you're, you're not a spotter. About. If you believe Chris, this is gonna break your heart. Take a look at this video. That's him working as a tow truck driver, towing a car right out of the liquor store parking lot. Chris, you've even got your name on the Breakthrough Towing uniform. I do work for it, but I do drive a tow truck. Okay. But right now, as you can see, I'm not. So if he's not on the clock as a spotter, what is he doing here? I like the area. I have family that stay up the street. And yeah. it's a free country. And and the video and, and on top of that, I don't park where I'm not supposed to. But take a look where Chris is parked. Uh-oh. Chris, you're parked illegally right now. Okay. You passed the sign. You you were Well, I'm sure. What if somebody told you right now and charged you three hundred and ninety-five dollars cash? Wouldn't you be mad? I would pull off. You would pull off? Man, I don't even know what that means. Now, Ryan Hill, the attorney from Breakthrough Towing, says their clients are happy with their service. They make people pay cash only because it's too easy for people to dispute the $395 charge on their cart. And why is it so expensive? He says it's to discourage people from parking there again. I would think a $50 fine would be plenty to accomplish that. Rob, this is unbelievable. I'm sure a lot of people are shaking their heads right now. You mentioned the lawsuit, but what else can be done about this? Well, other states have laws designed to stop predatory towing. In some states, 
the vehicle has to be on the lot for at least an hour before it can be towed. Some states cap the amount for a tow off a private lot at $125. Also, many states have laws that say credit and debit cards must be accepted. And in many states, if, you're st if they're still hooking up your car, the tow driver is supposed to release it and charge a reasonable fee. All the people I spoke to said none of that stuff happened here. So is there no cap in the city of Detroit? Can a tow company charge whatever they want to? Well, apparently they can, so I guess they could charge $4,000. They got your car. Remember, that's your car with your stuff in it, and you kind of have no choice but to pay it to get your car back, and they want cash, cash only. So I'm kind of hoping that some city council members or the mayor or one of our state legislators sees this and says, hey, maybe we ought to make some stricter rules here. I hope they're watching right now. Yes. I do too. Great story, Rob. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.